Welcome to the ESC TV. I'm Professor Nikos Maniadakis, and today we we'll discuss with Professor Vardas the uh, Atlas of Cardiology. So, Professor, can you please tell us a little bit about what is all about? What is the Atlas? Of course. Atlas of Cardiovascular Data is a collection of existing features in different ESC member countries related to healthcare for cardiovascular patients. Through this atlas, we are aiming to understand local and regional and national realities, to get more accurate numbers related to different metrics, and finally, to make an exercise how to eliminate the existing inequalities and healthcare gaps in different countries. So how is the ESC uh, collecting all these data? We have addressed the National Cardiac Societies. National Cardiac Societies are closely collaborated with the European Society of Cardiology. So now, through all these uh, metrics available to uh, National Cardiac Societies, we try to organize the whole ATLAS project. Is it something you will be doing once, or is it a project that will run on, a, on an annual basis? Reasonably, we have to repeat the collection of the data periodically, every second year or third year. And who is going to have access to these data? This huge uh, pool of data will be available to many institutions, uh, national uh, authorities and governments, uh, to insurance companies and to industry, of course. We have the opportunity through this uh, data to evaluate uh, local realities, as I said, to estimate the accessibility of the patients to uh, advanced uh, therapeutic and diagnostic techniques in cardiovascular medicine, and finally, to see how to implement better our ESC guidelines. So basically, it's going to be a lot of, of data useful to support evidence-based evidence policy at national and, and at the European level. I am optimi optimistic enough to believe that this it will be the first time that so much large data will be collected. Thank you very much.